We used Final Cut Pro for the main product. It enabled us to make major adjustments to our footage. In some of the clips, the lighting was too dark and wasn't very clear on what was happening. In this case, we used Final Cut Pro to alter the brightness and exposure to make the clips more visible. We did this by using the color grading tool, then exposure. To prevent the clips from being white, we also had to alter the contrast to maintain a shadowy effect. In scenes where we used natural lighting, we faced a problem, as the clips came out with a yellowy, orangish tone. Therefore, we changed the saturation to fade the brightness of the colours. We also used Final Cut Pro to change scenes into slow motion. We used this for the beginning clips, as it was more effective. The purpose of this was to create a happy, romantic atmosphere. We accomplished this by clicking on Modify, located on the top of the screen, and then we clicked Retime and changed it to Slow. We then altered the speed so it was how we wanted it. When constructing our main product, we faced problems with the camera we was using, the Canon 1200D. When it came to handling the lighting when filming, many shots were appearing too bright. For example, the shots of London City Line and Sunset. The lens of the camera was too sensitive and was capturing the scenes lighter than we expected. In this case, we changed the ISO, which successfully presented shots from being luminous and minimalizing the amount of sunlight the camera was picking up. ISO was important when filming as it created different tones. We also used Photoshop for our magazine cover and poster as it allowed us to make our original photos more effective. We used the paint tool to add bruises into the protagonist to, pre to represent our genre. We used purple with a low opacity so it was faint and realistic. We completed this on a new layer so if any mistakes were made, the original photo would remain intact. When using Photoshop to edit, we faced issues as we didn't know how to use Photoshop very well. This meant that we had to use YouTube to watch tutorials on how to use the basic skills, which allowed us to edit our magazine and poster. We decided that it would be best for us to use Photoshop for our magazine and poster, as we found it would be easier for us to edit, as we was able to add filters, effects and titles onto our product. We felt that this would provide a more realistic outcome rather than using other programs such as paint. Photoshop allowed us to crop around images and add our chosen background by creating more layers so we could alter the positioning of different images and text we added. We cropped around the image of the protagonist by using the magic tool. This highlighted the outline of the picture we wanted to use automatically, which made it more efficient, accurate and faster. Due to the wide range of fonts that Photoshop provided, we were able to successfully create the magazine inspired by our, desir our desirable studio magazine. The tools such as stretching out the font and making it more spaced out was useful for a more achievable look.